how to spend more on your Facebook ads so that you get better results. Yeah. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice and today I want to talk to you about how you can spend more on your ads so that you get better results. Now, why is this important? Why is this something that you need to be thinking about? Well, going into 2020, 2021, whenever you're watching this video, more and more money is coming to digital platforms. More and more money is being spent on digital platforms. So what you need to start doing is figure out how can you match that spend? How can you spend more than anyone else in your industry to acquire your customers, your clients, and really start to grow your business? That's what should be thinking, sitting in your mind every time you watch a video now from me, every time you see content around Facebook, business growth, whatever it might be. You really need to understand how to spend more on your ads. Now, I'm not just saying that because we work closely with Facebook and they want to make more money, but if you can spend more than anyone else to acquire a customer, you will win. A lot of the times, it's a race to the bottom. People are like, oh, I've got leads for a cent, two cents, three cents, and that's great, but I'd rather be the person who's willing to spend the most because if I can do that, which means when more money comes to the platform, I can outspend anyone else, that is how you win. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to envisage a funnel, right? Insert cool graphic from near to here of a funnel coming down to the outcome and you have all the steps a customer has to take to join your business. What you need to be able to do is know exactly for if a lead comes to you, they come from Facebook, they inquire, you call them, they have an appointment, you present your offer and you make a sale, you need to know your numbers. Look, I've said this in many videos that we've done, and if you don't know your numbers, you're not gonna be able to spend more on your Facebook ads, which is really how you go about doing that, is reverse engineering your numbers. So if you can figure out, for you to make one sale, how many, how many people do you need to present your offer to? How many then people do you need to get appointments with? How many then leads do you need to speak with? And how many then leads do you need to put into Facebook? If you can re reconfigure and reverse engineer those numbers, you'll actually be able to know exactly how much to spend on the platforms, as opposed to just going in there and crossing your fingers and hoping that you know what you're doing. Because that's the biggest problem that I find with business owners when they come into Facebook and they start spending money, is that they don't start with the end in mind, Stephen Covey once said. They don't do that. They go, I'm gonna spend $20 a day, I'm gonna spend $30 a day, $50 a day on my ads, which is great. However, we don't know why we're doing or how to best do that. Because once you've figured out that number and you know what it actually what it, uh, a lead will generate you in sales, if you get 10 leads, it equates to X sales, which is X value, for, uh, Y value for you. If you can start to figure out that calculation. What that will allow you to do is go, okay, now that I know that, what am I willing to spend to acquire that customer? So if you know that 10 leads generates you one sale and a sale is worth $1,000 to you, as an example, how much would you be willing to spend to generate that $1,000? This is where this beautiful number known as LTV comes into play. LTV stands for lifetime value. Now, if you know what the lifetime value of a customer is, that's when you can start to spend more than anyone else. That's when you can start to acquire customers at a faster rate than anyone else. Not many people take this into consideration. So LTV, as I said, lifetime value of your clients might actually be, even though your initial product's $1,000, as our example flows, you might actually be having a lifetime value of two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000, which means potentially, albeit cash flow permitting, all the other variables taken into consideration, you might actually be willing to spend $1,000 to make $1,000 because you know that the lifetime value of your customer is 4000 or 5000 which means you're still in, in the long run make more money than anyone else. This is what all the big companies do. This is why places like Dollar Beer Club, Dollar Shave Club will actually lose money sometimes for up to 18 months on a customer because they know the lifetime value. So a lot of the subscription services will do that. They don't make money until sometimes, as I said, four, five, six, up to 18 months depending on the company because they understand this process. Obviously to do that, you've actually got to have excess capital to be able to invest in to make that happen. However, if you're doing, if you're a product or services business, if you're a, especially if you're a services business, and you know that the initial component might be either leverage, it might be that you don't need a huge input of time, energy, and effort from human capital, um, and just takes a little bit of time for to send a program or access to someone. If you're doing digital programs, then that becomes infinitely scalable for you because you're willing to spend more than anyone else. 
So let's do a little bit of a recap on that so you can understand what you have to do. Number one is you have to reverse engineer your funnel, knowing how many leads come in, to then how many people you speak to, to how many appointments that generates, how many pitches you get, and then how many sales opportunities are generated from that. Because you want to know if you generate a lead, right? How much that will that, what that will generate you. So if you if you generate a lead for twenty dollars and you need ten to make a sale, that generates you two hundred dollars, right? Um, so that means that you spend two hundred dollars in spend to generate a thousand dollars. Once you know that number, then you can actually go back and look at, am I willing to spend that or not? So that's also gonna set your budgets for your ads, as well as look at how much you're willing to spend on the other side. Because then you need to take into consideration the next part, part two, which is the lifetime value. If you know the lifetime value, then you can plug that into there as well and see if you're willing to spend more than anyone else. So that's exactly how you can go about spending more to get better results when it comes to your Facebook ads is by knowing those numbers. If you don't know the numbers, don't try and spend more. Don't just increase spend because someone tells you to. Don't just spend more for the sake of spending more. Do it strategically, do it tactically, so you can get a better end outcome. Now guys, if you've liked this video from us today and you wanna hear more, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below. Or if you didn't, give me a thumbs down and tell me why as well, I don't mind. Right? And make sure that you subscribe and you turn on the little notification bell up the top so that you see these videos before anyone else. Until next time, I'm Kim, y'all are awesome. Adiós.